time to say hello. It's long been recognised that the environment a person or a child is in is really important in terms of providing them with opportunities for their communication and communication development. So it's about ensuring lots of different ways of communicating across various settings so that they always have a voice. Communication is a fundamental human right. We try to use what's called a multimodal communication approach and that's looking at using a variety of different tools to assist or facilitate. We started working on using what's called Alternative and Augmentative Communication Systems, AAC. Aided language stimulation boards are a strategy utilised and they're what's called a paper-based or low-tech AAC system. What's important particularly about the board is it's focusing on what's called core vocabulary. Core vocabulary refers to the 80% of the most important and functional words that we use throughout the day. They allow us and allow the child and adult to develop single words and join them together to form sentences. Uh, and for parents, that allows them to also learn to read the signs and observe their child and work out different ways of how to support the child in that moment. It is important that children are exposed to words, sounds and using those different modalities, picture symbols, speech generated devices and sign to really give them that increased exposure to the language because that is then required for your later years as you enter schooling. Today I'm working with Jim and he has cerebral palsy. So in the house, sign is appropriate because those who are familiar understand it. However, when Jim's going out, if he watches a band out at the Darwin Entertainment Centre, other people don't necessarily know what he's talking about. And that's where we've started to trial an AAC communication device that's what we call high technology. And that allows Jim to say what he wants, when he wants. He's understood by others which is incredibly empowering and that gives him both independence and autonomy because it means it's on his terms as to when he wants to communicate or wants to say something to others. <laughs> no, absolutely not. There, remember you had that big late night out, Jim? Remember you came home at, what was it, 11 o'clock? That was our secret, wasn't it? You got mm. home late, hey? <laughs> Shh, well, that's between us. <laughs> We should never presume or assume that someone can't do something. We always assume that the person is very capable and has that opportunity to learn. If we're not provided with that opportunity, then we'll never know. Expose them as early as possible so they have as much chance of developing the language or the tools needed to communicate to whoever they want, wherever they want and whenever they want. <laughs>